Hey, welcome back. Uh, I had an email asking if we can actually make a low-powered PC that can play games for around 200 bucks. So um, I thought, sure, let's do that. So let's take a look at PC Part Picker. This is Canadian prices. In the U.S., it will be um, notably cheaper. So uh, keep that in mind. I thought we'd go with an AMD 7300 uh, system on a chip, or APU as AMD likes to call them. And uh, this little sucker has a built-in 8470D, and uh, that's it's fairly decent. It's not great, but it should be able to play games um, better than the IGPs or the integrated graphics processors you get in the uh, Intels, but we will test that out. Uh, we have the HP Stream Mini, and we've seen how that performs, so we'll be putting this up against that. Um, so choosing a motherboard now, I'm going to mention... This one here, this uh, Gigabyte FM2 Plus motherboard, um, I'm going to add that in. I had gotten one, uh, boy, maybe about a week ago or so before this for a little less than this, about uh, 52 uh, But this is as close as possible. And keep in mind, these pr prices do fluctuate uh, based on market conditions. You can We can put this build together and do it uh, two weeks from now, and it can be $15 more or $15 less. So, anyways... Um, picking our memory here, once again, uh, I had uh, picked up some memory for, oh boy, pretty cheap, probably about six, it was 60 bucks for uh, 8 gig. So we're going to get something close here, and uh, we'll go with a 1600. Um, again, APU, the faster the better. We will actually test uh, some faster memory with it than the 1600 later on, um, just to get an idea of, of how much that gives you. So let's go with this uh, Kingston here. So that's good. Um, all right. Now, I want to add a case. want to do a case and power supply combo. Typically, um, you can get those pretty cheap if you're, you're willing to could go down in quality. Um, there isn't this model here. I wanted to pick this uh, cube-based Apex MI008. Um, Apex kind of makes junky cases from my experience with them, but uh, they are okay uh, to the point where you can say it does the job. So, 5779 for that case. Um, and adding in other other pieces here, we will come up with a final total of 139. 92 added on there and 197.61. So we are under the $200 mark. Now you'll notice, <laughs> you're going to point this out to me. You'll notice I did not pick storage here. I don't have a hard drive on it. Um, that's because there are a number of ways to get free hard drives. SATA hard drives have been kicking around forever. But for argument's sake, if you do not have one kicking around or you can't get one, we will talk about that when we do the build, um, where to pick these things up for a dime a dozen. Um, but let's just add in a 250 gig Seagate right here um, just to the build for argument's sake. Now, we're not going to go with a DVD drive. Um, the idea is to make sort of a Steam type box. And on that note, too, you'll notice we don't have an operating system. And recognizing that Windows 8.1 adds about 100 bucks onto the build, um, we will look at something free. So uh, whether you're going to Linux based. Um, OS like Ubuntu or Steam OS, or we're going to look at how to get Windows 8.1 for free legit from Microsoft. Um, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, I'm going to order this. The parts will be on the way, and when they're done, we'll put it together. We'll have a little build video, and uh, we'll, we'll get to some testing and see how we do against the HP Stream Mini by comparison. Thanks all, and take care.